Jim is incredibly smart and incredibly hardworking. He is sought by companies, corporations, and governments all over the world, but he doesn't like talking about himself. And I think that it's important that people do know the contributions Jim has made and continues to make. Whatever Jim Langdon gets involved in, he's all in, and he brings all his prodigious talent to work on. Yeah, he focuses on the things that need to be focused on. He can put the noise out of his life. And he loves the University of Texas, and always has. He says he came to the University of Texas to find himself, and he says he did. He had great friends. He won intramurals tennis. We played a lot of tennis together. I, I don't think I ever beat him. One of his attributes is his competitiveness, and uh, he, he likes to win. Jim had a terrible motorcycle accident when he was a senior in law school. Had to lay out for a semester, his last semester of law school. Almost killed him. And I think he was in the hospital for about six months or longer. And it was typical of his recovery from that accident, which many said he probably shouldn't have survived, to what he does each and every day. Look at problems and figure out how to solve them. He's a problem solver. When he went to D.C., he worked in the public sector and then went to Aiken Gump and built it from a small Texas regional law firm to a huge multinational and well-respected law firm. It's fun to watch him in action, understand why he's been such a successful lawyer representing Russian oil companies and Chinese investors. Being in China and being in Korea and being in Moscow, he's probably one of the top international energy lawyers in the world. His knowledge of energy, energy policy, his counsel and advisor sought by all. President Bush appointed him to the President's Foreign Intelligence Advisory Board. This was not something where Jim had a strong background. The speed with which he picked up what the agencies were doing, their importance. How they work, what they're doing, how they don't work together. Jim brought great insight and understanding to those agencies. He's been a longtime supporter of the school, and he, he loves the school. And the latest thing he did was the, uh, the Strauss Center. The LBJ School decided they wanted to expand what it was offering its students on international affairs and national security. Ambassador Strauss and his family kindly gave a substantial amount of money to get it started. And Jim Langdon orchestrated more money from they can come. And Jim really, I think, just did it all on his own. Put the funding together and it started the center. And I don't think there's another one like it in the world. That to me has been his greatest personal achievement in addition to, to you know, marrying a wonderful woman. It's been fun to watch uh, whatever Jim undertook that Sandy's role as a partner and a strong supporter. We, of course, love Sandy and she's devoted to him and his three children are outstanding. He has a wonderful family. When I think of Jim, the first thing I think of is his great family and his love of his family. The second thing I think of is his love of Texas. And right behind that, he loves the University of Texas. And I don't think anything could mean more to him than receiving this from his alma mater.